Hi hello guys welcome back to my channel this is Vinay before you today in this video we will be discussing about a topic that is about the english grammar so in this english grammar video we will be discussing about the topic the content i chose that is very uh, vital and that is very well known and which is very precious in the english grammar topics which we see we uh, observe that this is complicated actually this is not the complicated actually this is very joyful grammar topic that we can understand in a very easy manner we can ease to learn it okay so i i think actually we haven't uh, prepared this video yet so this will be very enthusiastic topic for you so now i will start the topic that this is the synthesis okay synthesis in the english grammar synthesis is, is nothing but the combination of two sentences okay the combination of two sentences um the combination of two sentences which we can convert into simple compound and complex okay that's we call means combination of two sentences or two different sentences so we can combine it by adding a uh, few uh, words okay by few by few magical words we can add little grammatical pickle to it to frame a whole that's we call synthesis okay i hope you understood okay now i defined it now definition is over means combination of two sentences combining uh, two sentences with uh, and converting into simple compound and complex that's we call synthesis okay this is over now define it define it is over define define and five ways to form one simple sentence what are those five ways five ways are adjective we can uh, convert synthesis okay two sentences into sim into synthesis means simple compound complex by adding adjective okay by inserting the adjective words now another word infinitive we can add or we can uh, either choose prepositions or we can write with participles or we can go through conjunctions to frame synthesis how i will tell you these are the instances i have given several instances for you and uh, i will write here the answers those will be more clear and thorough to you people now now this is the time to understand the uh, okay the answers i will write here what is first one the answers i mentioned here the answer a n s w e r i hope my hand writing sir legible and now rakesh saw a lion okay rakesh saw a lion rakesh ran away so this is um here the suitable word will be the gerund i hope you understood gerund okay gerund actually i have not added here mm -hmm. yes gerund g r u n we can write here the participle as well but uh, um, gerund is the specific i think okay gerund will be suitable so now uh, rakesh r a k e s h rakesh so rakesh sorry actually that is a uh, uh, question but uh, now i will write here the direct answer the first one is seeing seeing your lion seeing your lion rakesh ran away okay seeing your lion rakesh ran away and the second uh, sentence is the second question is he played cricket he went to the office now which one will be the suitable for here means which which uh, way will be suitable to convert into simple he played cricket he went to the office now infinitive infinitive will not be okay preposition ha huh, actually infinitive will be okay he played cricket he went to the office um we can add here conjunction as well conjunction will be also the suitable but uh, hmm yes participle will be suitable okay participle can add uh, we will add conjunction in the last two sentences and now here we will add participles having okay having having played uh, which one is this having played means um, participle yes this is the participle 
but in participle we can add past or perfect participle this is not a perfect this is actually the past participle okay past participle having played having played cricket rcket having played cricket he went to the office went to the office okay i hope this is visible and now uh, rohit ran fast he wanted to get first prize this is very simple you can't add here the preposition or conjunction you have to replace them and you have to add infinitive that will be okay here how rohit ran fast he wanted to get first prize we can convert that into answer like rohit ran fast to get first prize this will be okay this will be done R O H I T Rohit ran fast to get first prize. Fourth one. So now I saw an elephant. The elephant was giant. So actually here the adjective will be suitable. How an adjective will be suitable here? I will tell you. I saw an elephant. Sorry, mm, I saw a giant elephant. Okay, I saw an elephant. The elephant was giant. Sorry, giant. Actually, the one adjective word will be uh, replacing the whole two sentences. Means we will combine one and uh, replace two sentences. How? Means there there will replace the comma. How? Here you can find this is the adjective giant. Okay, how the giant will be an adjective and how it will become the bridge between two sentences? I will tell you now. I saw. I saw a. Sorry, G I G I A N T giant elephant. A L E P H A N T elephant. I saw a giant elephant. Why can't um, and here just because this is the uh, this is not the sound of actually this is not the sound actually and also this is not the letter of um, oval hence I added here a so now the fifth question I found my wallet it was lost so here just if you are ready you can add the suitable here I found my wallet it was lost. So what can I write here? I found my lost wallet. How? I found my lost wallet. So now here we can add it. I found my lost wallet. The sixth one. Sixth one. I bought a pencil. I gave 20 rupees for it. This is a very long one. So you can cut it short. How? I bought a pencil for 20 rupees. What is the for here? For is the preposition. So this for can replace the whole uh, sentence and it will frame a new one. Like I bought. Bought a pencil. Pencil for twenty rupees. Seventh one. Uh, Ram played cricket. Okay. Ram played cricket. Uh, uh, Ram played cricket. Sham played cricket. Ram and Sham played cricket. This is the connection. Of course, Ram and Sham played cricket. Huh. Ajay, last one. Ajay can read, Ajay can write. Ajay can read and write. Replace the whole uh, sentence. Okay, Ajay can read. And write. Okay, now this is the over. 
So these are the five ways uh, or six ways, sixth one you can add in your list this uh, last one as well. So these are the six ways through which you can uh, convert the synthesis. Okay, the combination of two sentences into synthesis means simple compound or complex. You can convert. So this is the uh, formation. Okay, this is the actual way to convert the sentences into synthesis. So this is the synthesis grammar topic. I hope you understood. And thank you so much. Uh, till then, take care. Bye bye. In my see you in my next upcoming video. And uh, I will be bringing ahead the innovative and uh, incentive videos like these. So thank you so much. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Thank you so much.